Marc-André Bazergui, who, although he has the Lego Education shirt, isn't actually a Lego employee. He's a Lego fan, and he's here at Guest 2016. Tell us what it is you're doing here, why you're here, and where, what passion you're trying to share. Well, first of all, it's an honor to be here. Uh, I have been uh, found uh, in other LEGO-related events uh, with some of my creations. And when LEGO Education saw uh, uh, some of my large robot, they were like, what are you doing uh, You know, a month from now? We're having this event in Dubai. And I'm like, well, that sounds like fun. And I'm always uh, willing to travel with my robots and inspire uh, the generation of tomorrow. And we have, uh, it looks like we have two robots here, or maybe one. Actually, but it's one. This, this is the big one robot. that's the big part that's interesting to most of the kids around here I've seen. We have Wally. Can you tell me a little bit about why you've brought Wally here and well, why the kids are so engaged by him? Why Wally? I, I like to make robots that kids can relate to. So they see this, they see it's Wally. They, they haven't even realized yet that they can make one of those themselves because it's Lego. Yeah. Uh, so they relate to the character, um, whether it's R2-D2 or Wally or, or I'm always scratching my brain. I'm try, trying to figure out what will be my next robot. Yeah. But uh, this is actually Wally 7, so it's not the first one I've made. Okay. Uh, what's fun about this one is he's all made with the latest technology, Mindstorm's EV3. Okay. And uh, I'm using several several of those bricks. And uh, so, so let's drive him around. So basically, I'm using a Bluetooth remote here. So the remote itself is made out of Lego. And it's uh, connected via Bluetooth to a network of bricks. So I've got another one in the middle here that you can't see. Yeah. And, um, so this EV3 is like the master talking to the several clients. And together, they allow me to control all the features of this uh, robot. So what does Wally do in the movie beside compact trash? He actually turns into a cube. So I got a few uh, steps I can make him do here where he uh, raises his body. So again, a lot of uh, engineering uh, concepts here that kids yeah. can relate to. Uh, so uh, gearing down to allow to lift the heavy weight, then uh, bringing the legs back in, then I can bring them back down and then oh, flick those two switches beautiful. and have the little robot. Now, as a kid in Glasgow, I used to go every Saturday to the Jolly Giant toy store and look at the installations they had out to kind of inspire children. And there was always part of me looked at them and said, that's amazing, but I could never do it. Can kids really manage to produce things as exciting as what you've done here, just I've, using Lego bricks and Mindstorms EV3? I've, I've had uh, uh, school teachers or, 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 or team, team uh, trainers uh, contact me via, via email saying, my class has a resource, we have all these kits, right? We use them for competition, but at the end of the year, we want to put them all together and make something crazy. Uh, do you have building instructions? No, I don't because it would take me a year to make the building instruction for this thing. And that's, that's an but, interesting thing about Lego as well, that the, the instructions we always use the first time, but really the play comes without the instructions after. I think so, and, and technically I could have building instructions made for this. Uh, I'm personally a little bit lazy to do them, but I got some friends who would, based on pictures, create official building instructions that you could follow the same way you follow building instructions for, for any other kid. Yeah. But, I find it's more interesting, especially if a school wants to reproduce this, to just have a look at the thousands of pictures that I've got available. Yeah. Because then they can look at the inventory of parts they own and just use this as an inspiration, a starting point, uh, pick up some elements that are essential to make the robot do what it's doing, but then, you know, the rest can be cardboard if you're running out of parts. And what are some of the inspiring stories you've heard from either teachers or even directly from students in schools who are getting to grips with this kind of technology? Well, first of all, when they send me pictures of their creation and you can see that they're inspired uh, from, from them. Um, back in 2011, I made a very large WALL-E 5. Uh, essentially, this robot, but made with NXT technology, so he was a little bit larger. And this team from Philippine uh, reached out to me and said, uh, we need this, and we're talking about the open category, so now they're actually going to be building this for their competition. And they wanted to do this robot that would open up, so uh, they liked the whole track system and all this. They copied like half my robot, they got inspired from it, and the rest were their own creation. And I was actually invited to that final, the WRO, I believe it was the one in... Uh, 
in, uh, was it Abu Dhabi or the Jakarta one? I don't remember exactly which year, but I saw uh, what, what, you know, how they got inspired and what they actually built. And they made this huge base that would like open up and they had a smaller ro robot roll out of it. And in their uh, official presentation, where they have their they have to document everything and present to the judge there was a whole section how they reached out to me how uh, you know to give me credit where credit is due and that's that's also a very good uh, exercise that we like to teach kids really early on it's all right not to have the answers to everything it's 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 normal to uh, find uh, other resources but you got to uh, give give credit and it's the kind of creative commons of of learning that that What's fascinating about this is you've got engineering, you've got maths, you've got art, you've got everything in there. Um, for teachers, it's maybe a little bit daunting at first, but what you've just said is perhaps that students, given the materials and given some time, actually go about it and learn very much on their own. They, they, they love this because they see, wait a minute, we can do this too. Then they get the support from their teachers. Uh, they have the resources. And the art part is so important because, you know, the science technology the whole math involved here, uh, the, the the equations to, you know, how heavy is this thing, how, what my gear ratio is going to be needing to lift it. But then this thing has to look cute too. Yeah. So the whole art part, I think, is very important as well. If you want to get inspired, as, as inspired as I've been by Marc-Andre, head over to the Lego stand at some point today. <laughs>